This is how I created these unique glowing particles in After Effects without keyframes, but basic expressions instead. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel. Let's work on the tail first. We add a new shape by double clicking on the ellipse tool and set the size to 10 by 10 pixels. Wide solid fill, we turn it into a 3D layer. Step one, animate the movement. We add an expression to the position property then define an animation pattern with seed random and one in parentheses semicolon. Why? I'll show you at the end. Then we add wiggle and 0500 in parentheses. Awesome. But we want to add a second movement on top. Add plus and add a second wiggle expression. And this time 2,050 in parentheses. This adds some faster and shorter moves on top which makes it feel more hectic. Step two, we add effects. Echo. Echo time, minus zero, comma, zero, one. Number of echoes, 300. Decay, 0, 0,95. Turbulent displays, amount 30. Size, 50. Complexity, 5. Then we add a glow and increase the glow radius to 50. If you want to learn more about expressions and don't know where to start, check out my free expression sheet. The link is in the description. Step 3. The particle. We add a new round shape by double clicking on the ellipse tool. Size 20 by 20 pixels this time. We turn it into a 3D layer, then link the position property to the tail's position. We add a glow effect, duplicate it and increase the glow radius to 50. Then we add CC light rays, intensity 100, radius 30, warp softness 50, shape, round, color white. Then we link the center position to the layer position. It has only two dimensions, the X and Y values. We create a variable each and link to the X and Y value of the position. Then add an array with X comma Y inside. We duplicate the comp a few times, change the seed random numbers to have different movements and add them to one comp. Thanks for watching this video, can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye everyone!